Jen here with Serenity Hill Farmstead. Today I am sitting down, getting ready, getting everything organized to get ready to start our 2020-2021 school year, which is crazy because yesterday was the first day of summer technically and I feel like our summer break went by in like a minute. Maybe it's the craziness of the world or the busyness of the homestead, I don't know, but it's busy and it's crazy, but it's time to get back to it. So today I am sitting down and I am getting things organized for my oldest. He is going into his sophomore year, so 10th grade. And I learned a lot of things about last year, the way we did things and what worked for him and what definitely did not work for him. The, the biggest challenge in keeping everything kind of organized and on track, um, as far as, you know, I guess planning goes, is what works for him is not what works for me. And I think it's really important for him to learn his way and to have a good setup because that's part of high school is preparing to go on to college or, you know, whatever edu secondary education he decides to go into um, or into the workforce, whatever he, whatever direction he chooses, he is going to have to know what organization setup works best for him. So I don't want to overtake that and say, no, we're going to do it this way because this is what works for me and I need to keep things straight. But we need to have both, right? I mean, I need to be organized. He needs to be organized. I'm still keeping the records, but I want him to find his way, especially having ADHD, among other things. He really needs to find systems that work for him. I'm going to show you guys what we're going to go with this year. It's a little different than I thought it was going to be, but um, some a little simpler, some a little more complicated for me. It may make perfect sense to you guys, but it's going to be an adjustment for me, but it's what I think is really going to work well for him. He helped me pick things out and put things together, so I'm going to show you what I've got for this year. All right, so this is the system we're going to go with for this year. This is his planner. Now. This does not warrant a whole separate video on high school student planners because this is about the simplest, most basic planner you could ever get. I got it at Walmart. You can find these on Amazon, Walmart, Walgreens, I've seen them. This is an Exceed planner. It was a few bucks, probably no more than five. Um, he liked this on it, having that there. And his color is blue. I do color code my kids just because that part for me makes things easier. So we got everything in blue. Okay, we've got some reference pages, tables of measurement, a world map, and your month at a glance. Now what drives me crazy with this is that all the months are at the beginning of the book. This would drive me nuts if this was my planner, but he likes it. So we'll see if he still likes it after using it for a while. But after that, it gets into this. And this is your week at a glance. Now, the thing I don't like about this is that it's such a small space to write everything he has to do in a day. I mean, this is like, for reference, there's my finger. It's a very small area. But I'm not going to be putting tons of detail in his planner the way I did last year. We're still gonna stick with our mom meetings, and if you are new to the channel, we've got a lot of new subscribers, so hi, I'm so glad you're here, welcome. Mom meetings are something that I started uh, with him, with my oldest. Uh, we started once a week, and just to kind of touch base and what we were gonna do for the week, and wrote everything down, and got on the same page, but that was a little too much, uh, and he needed a little more structure, so we did it daily. We had meetings daily, wrote everything down, but I put everything in his, and just kind of, put the subjects that he was going to be doing in my planner. And I'm going to do that a little differently and that I will explain in a different video, but this is not enough space. Now, this is not enough space, but we've got this whole open bullet journaling type planning here. And this is supposed to be really, really good for ADHD people, for kids, uh, for adults. And there's a lot of different things that him and I are both looking at and how to use this page. He thinks he has an idea. Um, we'll see if he sticks with it. I, I have a concern that if we do too much, if there's too much work that we have to do at the beginning to prepare this week to week, that he will end up not using it. Because ADHD or not, it might be the best thing for ADHD people. However, he is still a teenage boy and you know, 
how many teenage boys do you know they're actually gonna sit down and put time into a planner? So we'll see how this goes. So that's it, that's the whole planner. It just kinda goes like that all the way to the end. And when you're done, nothing is dated in there so you can add things in as you go. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. Um, he, he has a plan for it so I'm just trusting his plan and I know what definitely doesn't work for him as far as self-organization and planning. Uh, so this, we'll see. We'll see how, we'll see how this works. I'm not super, super optimistic on it, but um, I'm having faith in my son and what he thinks is gonna work for him. So we'll see how that goes. This was my idea and he liked the idea of it, so we went with it. This is a five-star notebook. These things are great, super durable. I did this instead of a binder because I really like that it's small when you don't have much in there and it gets bigger as you need. I think this ends up going to about an inch and a half and I really like the rings here also. So how this is gonna work, let me adjust the camera a little bit here. All right, so how this is gonna work, we've got all this stuff came in here with it. So let me show you how this works here. Open and close, really simple. Um, and each one of these, there are how many of these? Three of these. So I put the subjects that he has a lot of papers that get passed back and forth between us in the front here. This is his history section. So he's got pages that he'll do. If I have anything that he has to do that isn't prompted in his book, like um, these, these pages here are in the teacher book, then I'll put it in the front here. Any notes that he'll take are gonna sit in this little tab for studying. And then when he's done, he'll put his paper in here for me to grade and do later. So we've done a little bit of that. He finished up some things that he needed to during the summer using this just to see how um, everything went and we like it so far. This is gonna be his language. This is, so this is all language arts, reading, writing, grammar, spelling, vocabulary, geography is what's covered in our language arts. Um, so again, any kind of note cards, his vocabulary. I really like um, unit 10 in The Good and the Beautiful for the freshman year had these strips and it had the word, you know what, let me show you. Cause it's so much better than trying to explain this here. Um, okay, so. You've got the words and then the uh, definitions and you have to match them up. So this actually has been the best way to study vocabulary for him. So when he has these to do, we'll put them in here. And if it is a unit that is not prompted those, uh, we're gonna go ahead and create them because it really is, his vocabulary retention has gone up way, way, higher than what it was at the beginning of even the middle of the year doing that way. So we're definitely gonna continue that. So, okay, so that'll be language, same thing. Same thing for science. And then everything else gets um, these kinds of sleeves. So here we have math, uh, ASL, guitar, and home ec in here. And you can see, here I'll switch to the guitar one here. These open up on the side and just kinda hang out to them at the top. And that way he can just take that out as needed or flip to it as needed because these are gonna be things that he doesn't really need to work with the pages. They're like reference sheets. So his ASL sheets, he's gonna have weekly sheets that are gonna go in there and he'll just study off of that sheet plus the videos and um, group work that we do together. The math one, he does teaching textbooks. So he doesn't have sheets of paper that he's gonna work off of and that he has to fumble with. This is just if I have to print out a lesson, if he needs extra work with it, then it's gonna go here. So I'm not anticipating needing tons of space for papers and things here. Guitar, you saw that he's got his chord sheet that he's gonna be starting off of. And then for home ec, same thing, he's gonna have weekly uh, things to do in here and he's gonna be working off of one sheet per week because this is very much a he's gotta work with me kind of thing. It's not just a here, do this curriculum. This is a hands-on, very, very hands-on curriculum that I'm putting together and when this is put together, I will be sharing this with you guys too. And then in the back, we've got just college rule paper and some of the graph paper to use as needed. And that 
is it. That is the whole setup. It's like I said, super simple, really easy. We'll see how this goes. I don't know. We'll see. So if you guys are interested in taking a look at these or uh, wanting to get a, you know, some of your own, I will pop Amazon links if I can find them down in the description box below. Uh, getting ready for back to school for me is a whole thing. It's like planning for a baby. We got a nest. I have to clean the house. I have to purge the things. I have to prepare meals. I have to you know, get all of the organizational things in place. I need to make sense of all the curriculum, even the open and go stuff. It's a whole thing. And everybody's got their own way of doing things. Some people do a lot of prep, some people do no prep. So next week, I'm going to do a series on how I get ready, how I do all of those things. So if you're interested in seeing that, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you guys get notified when that comes up. It's gonna be five videos, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I will have a video up covering a different aspect of how I plan and prepare for our, ups our upcoming school year so that we can kick it off with as much success and ease of transition into that as possible. And this is the time of year where we start harvesting from our homestead too and doing a lot, a lot of things that take a lot of time. So um, having as much in place as possible is extremely important for us. So stay tuned for that. Hope you guys are having a great day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.